If we write out all the triads on a C major scale, we will get the following triads or chords. Note that on a major scale we get three major triads on the root, fourth, fifth. Three minor triads on the second, third, sixth, and a diminished triad on the seventh degree. We use the uppercase Roman numerals for major triads, the lowercase for minor triads, and a small circle after the lowercase for a diminished triad. Chords are named for the degrees on which they are based. Thus, in the key of C major scale, the first chord is C major, the second is D minor, the third is E minor, the fourth is F major, the fifth is G major, the sixth is A minor, the seventh is B diminished, and back to the first chord, C major, again. Thus, if we know the key signature of a major scale, it is relatively easy to harmonize the scale. Below is a chart of major keys and their respective harmonization. Likewise, if we write out all the triads on a natural minor scale, we get the following triads. We get three minor triads, root, fourth, fifth, three major triads, third, sixth, seventh, and a diminished triad, second. Thus, in the key of A natural minor, the first chord is A minor, the second is B diminished, the third is C major, the fourth is D minor, the fifth is E minor, the sixth is F major, the seventh is G major, and back to the first chord, A minor, again. Below is a chart of minor keys and their respective harmonization. We'll continue with chord construction next time.